Hey guys, what's up? It's Coco, and today we're doing an Evermall Tree Review. This time, we're doing the Wolfer slash Lifelike Proto 1000 Series Bud RDC1 self Rail Railcar. I have it in the New York Schools for Hand and Western M1 model. Uh, and so, let's talk about the RDC. So, it has an all-metal body. Uh... It has directional lighting. I don't know how much it would cost retail, but I bought it off uh, from I bought it secondhand from for about seventy dollars. Yeah, and uh, well, the, the original RDC was sent by Bud to make a self-propelled rail car that l would be very successful, and it would save railroads money on rural routes so they don't have to put locomotives hauled by coaches because they called it the locomotive in the coach and that's basically where we got the term self-propelled rail car from uh... well anyways yeah it was a groundbreaking technology according to the box this has a scale speed of eighty three mile an hour tops so well eighty three scale miles an hour this is amazing and this is a really short review. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Here's some running footage. Uh, thanks, guys. This has been Cookode signing off. Hey, guys. This is Cookode with part 2 of the uh, Proto 1000 RDC 1 review. And uh, so here we go with it. Uh, it's running on my layout right now. And... Uh, well, if you'll notice, it has a little squeaky sound, and I bought mine brand new second hand, hand like I said in the first part of the review. But, you know, who ca who cares? I don't care about it. But uh, if you're like one of those super big, mo super detailers, uh, that's your problem. So, but I don't think it comes on all of them. But anyways, let's get running. As you can see, I turn it on, and it's starting to crawl out. And here it goes. I'll get it up to full speed for you. Uh, it's going to be coming around here and uh, I'll change the cam to the air station in a second video clip. That will be added to the review video. Right here, here she comes again. Alright, so I might as well get her coming the other direction now. So I'm reversing her and here she comes again. Again. And we'll do a station stop. As you can see, there's a little platform in the corner over there. And let's slow her down. Station. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to switch the cam to the other side of the tracks to a low level platform station. Uh, and this is the end of this. Right. Guys, we're on a low level platform side now. I am going to get M1 running. And, uh, well, here she comes. Just a little bit of the station. One second, Speedy Bird. Alright, so here she comes at full speed. Speedy Bird, you scale. Now I'll get her running the other way and do a station stop on the second round of coming through the other way. I mean, if we go back to this one and do the two more, I think we'll face that station. Alright, here comes her station stop. Slowing it down. Okay, there we go. So, uh, now for the next clip. Thanks for watching this part. Guys, so now we're looking at the inside of the little tunnel I put up sometimes. As you can see, I have M1 stopped in here. 
Uh, we can get started because I haven't changed from the station so but let's get it started in the in the direction facing the camera. Comes at full speed through the tunnel. Right now, as I usually do, let's do uh, the run bys in the other direction. Here she comes. And she's going to come around the second time. Then I'm going to show you the next one. Alright, thanks for watching this part. Alright, so like I did say, I placed the ca phone slash camera outside of the tunnel. And now uh, we can watch it run by it. We have some of the tunnel outside of the tunnel looking past it, and it's a nice little bit of scenery. So just enjoy these final run bys. Alright, and I want to make this clip shorter, so we're going to run back the other way. Alright, so there you go. That's the M1 review. This is Cook Code, signing off.